Hey there, it's David Cinelli here, Realtor with Royal LePage, with another edition of your Real Estate Educational Fridays. Today's topic is part one of the costs associated with the purchase of a real estate property here in Ontario. I like my clients to be well informed and know all the costs that are associated with the purchase of a property. Knowing what is due and when allows you to a budget accordingly and also allows you to enjoy the whole purchasing process. There are essentially two different types of costs. There's more of the immediate costs and there's also costs which are due upon closings. Today's topic, we're just going to talk about the more immediate costs. The first cost is the deposit. Now here in the GTA, it's usually 5% of the purchase price and this amount needs to be in liquid form. The reason for that is once both parties agree and the agreement has been made between both buyer and seller, the buyer will have to pay that deposit amount to the listing brokerage within 24 hours. And this amount needs to be in some sort of certified funds, whether it's a bank draft, money order, or some sort of guaranteed funds it has to be deposited to the listing brokerage. So you need to have that amount readily available and in your bank account before you make an agreement of a purchase and sale. The second cost is a home inspection. It is recommended that a buyer make it a condition of an agreement of purchase and sale to have the home inspected by a professional home inspector within the conditional period set forth in the agreement. It's usually around five business days. Home inspections run anywhere from $250 for a condo and up to over $400 and up for other home types. This amount is due either right before the home inspection or as soon as the home inspection is complete. The third cost is an appraisal fee. It's usually around $250 and up, but it's sometimes waived by the lender. Now, this occurs when the lender hires a third party appraiser and sends them out to the property to give the value of the property which you have agreed to buy. If it comes back that the value is less than what you have agreed to pay, then you may have to pay the difference upon closing. Well, there you have it. That was part one of the closing costs of a real estate transaction. If you'd like to know more details of the costs associated with the real estate transaction, or you have a topic which you want me to discuss here on Real Estate Educational Fridays, please feel free to reach out. You can always call or text me at 416-876-9998 or email me at dchanelli at royalpage.ca. Have a great day.